In this video, I'll take a look at how you can create a Windows Forms application using C Sharp. When you launch Visual Studio, you will be presented with this dialog box, which is create a new project. Turn your attention to these three drop-down list boxes. With respect to the first one, choose C Sharp. The second one, click here and choose Windows, then come to Project Types and select Desktop. This appears at the top of the Project Template list and you can see it highlighted, then hit Next. You will then be presented with this dialog box and it is saying configure your new project. And here you can see it says Windows Form App, C Sharp, I'm developing in the Windows operating system and it is going to be a desktop application. For this demonstration, I'm going to leave the project name, the location and the solution name at their default value. The next step is to click on to the next button and you will see it will say here additional information and you will note here it is saying .NET 6 long term support. Just leave it as that. Come here to where it says create. Click on it and wait and it will start to produce the IDE with the C Sharp environment loaded. You may be presented with this but I will click on close at this stage for this demonstration. And now what you can see is the integrated development environment for a C Sharp Windows Forms application. There are many features of this IDE that I could refer you to, but at the moment I'm going to leave that for later videos. In this video I'm just going to refer you to this, which is the view of the form at design time, as you can see labelled by this tab here. I will now execute this program by coming here and clicking on to where it says WinForms App 1. And you can see it creates this form which is the runtime. This view of the form is what you will expect to see when you're in the design mode. When you run the program, this is what the form looks like on my computer as I'm running Windows 11. And you can see they are different. Do not let that difference concern you. It will depend upon your computer exactly what they will look like compared to each other. But in the case of my computer, I'm running Windows 11. That's what the form looks like at runtime. And this is what the form looks like when it's in the integrated development environment. And I must stress that this is the runtime. This is where you draw all of your components on to produce the design for your graphical user interface. When you run the program, all of those drawn controls would appear on this form. In the demonstration so far, I've just loaded up a C Sharp Windows Form application, and this is the runtime I've got. Now, it's very tempting to think that this isn't actually a computer program. It's not the runtime for a computer program because it doesn't do anything yet. However, that would not be correct. What you get is the ability to do this. I can come to this corner and I can drag the form to a larger size. So the program I have here is one that gives me a fully formed form. And when we're in Windows 11, this is really a window. And of course, there's nothing drawn on it yet. But furthermore, if I come here to this and click on it, you can see the form or the window has been maximized. If I go back to this area and click on this, you can see it's gone back to the size that it was a moment ago. If I now wanted to stop this executing program, I've got two choices. I can come here and click onto this where it says stop debugging. That will quit the runtime, or you can go to the form itself here, click on here, and it will close the form, showing us that there is more things associated with this form 
than just the ability to maximize, bring it back to its normal size, as well as, let me show you again, being able to resize the form. And of course, this here will minimize the form, which I haven't shown you here. But I'll come now to this, click on it, and that window disappears. And I'm back now in the IDE, ready to draw my components onto this form here, which is the design time view within the IDE. Later videos in the playlist will show you how to draw controls onto this design view of a form, and those controls will then appear on the runtime when you execute the program. Please consider subscribing to the channel and click the bell to ensure you get an update every time I upload a video. Maybe you would like to consider supporting the development of these free videos via Patreon. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter and also check out the supporting website.